Hi everyone, today we're going to learn about the types of numbers in the number line. So first we're going to learn about whole numbers. Whole numbers are numbers that start from zero. So whole numbers would be zero, one, two, three, and so on. Whole numbers can be represented as a capital W. So let's write that here. These three dots mean that it goes on forever, such as infinity, and infinity is represented as a sideways eight. Next, let's move on to natural numbers. Natural numbers are numbers very similar to whole numbers, except these numbers do not include a zero. So they're one, two, three, four, all the way to infinity. You may be familiar with these sets of, this set of number, and you may call it a different name. The other name for natural numbers is counting numbers. Natural numbers are denoted as a capital N. Now, let's move on to integers. Integers include negative numbers, so negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, and positive numbers, so one, two, three. But, it can also continue in the negative side, not only the positive side. So it goes on this way, like negative four, negative five, all the way to a negative infinity. And this one would be to positive infinity. This would be denoted as an I. Now let's move on to rational numbers. Rational numbers are numbers that can be written as a ratio or a fraction. So you guys may already know that two or any whole number can be written as a fraction. So two would be equal to two over one. And any decimal with a repeating decimal, but the decimal has to be the same repeating decimal, or a, a decimal that does not repeat can also be written as a fraction. So 0 0.75 can be written as a fraction as 3 fourth. And 0 0.75 with the make run over the 5 can also be written as a fraction. This would be denoted as a capital R. Next, let's move on to irrational numbers. Irrational numbers are the complete opposite of rational numbers. These numbers cannot be written as a fraction because they have a different decimal repeating after the decimal point. So what if I gave pi? Pi is an irrational number because it is 3.5. One, four, one, five, nine, and the digits go on forever, and they are not the same digits. They, there are different digits, and they repeat after the decimal. This would be an irrational number. This would be denoted as an I. -R. Next, let's move on to real numbers. Real numbers are any number that can be found on the number line. So whole numbers can be found on the number line, zero. Natural numbers can be found on the number line, one. Integers can be found on the number line, negative one. Rational numbers can be found on the number line, 0 0.75. And irrational numbers can be found on the number line, pi. So as you realize, all of these numbers, whole numbers, natural numbers, integers, rational numbers, and irrational numbers 
are real numbers. So there is no really denotion for this because it's basically all the numbers. Next, let's move on to this graph. So you may not know what this graph shows, so I'll explain. This graph shows that all numbers are real numbers, irrational, rational, integer, whole numbers, and natural numbers. And this also shows that natural numbers are whole numbers, integers, rational numbers, real numbers, and are not irrational numbers. This can all, whole numbers, some whole numbers are natural numbers, and all whole numbers are integers, rational numbers, real numbers, but no whole number can be an irrational number. Now let's go on to integers. Integers. So some integers are whole numbers and natural numbers, and all integers are rational numbers and real numbers, and they cannot be irrational numbers. Now let's move on to rational numbers. Some rational numbers are integers, whole numbers, and natural numbers, and all rational numbers are real numbers. Irrational numbers? So um, irrational numbers are not rational numbers, integers, whole numbers, or natural numbers, and they are all, all real, irrational numbers are real numbers. So now let's learn about the number line. As you see here, there's a number line. So as you see, all zeros in the middle because it's neither negative nor positive and it is neutral. And all positive numbers would be on the right hand side of the number line and all negative numbers would be on the left-hand side of the number line. So as you see here, I've marked one. This is how you mark positive one on the number line. So what if I asked you to mark negative two? Yes, you would look on the left-hand side and look for the two, and you would draw a dot over it. Now let's look at 2.5. Yeah, that is how you do it. 2.5, also is known as two and a half, would be exactly in half between two and three, so the dot would come right there. So now, how about 4.6? Yes, that was how you do it. So five would be here, and that you would go exactly in half for 0 0.5. So you go a little bit over for 4.6. Now that you have learned these concepts, let me give you a small test. So you are going to name all the types of numbers that 0 0.5 can be. Time's up. 0 0.5 is a rational number and real number. Next, let's look at how about negative five. That is correct. Negative five is an integer, rational number, and real number. Now let's look at five. Yes, five is a natural number, whole number, integer, rational number, and real number. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and comment.